Welcome to Doorstop. I'm Pina Gree, and today we're talking about player versus player and 3D modeling with Flapjack. Let's go! Avatar PvP is a system that allows you to kill your friends in VR chat. It's all mm -hmm. avatar based, so this gun that I'm holding here, this works in a PvP world, so if I were to shoot someone in the face, they would fall over dead, ragdoll, respawn, and we hold large scale battles like that. Oh, that sounds really fun. Yes. It was all developed by a friend of mine named Go Fluffy Self. He developed the system. Mm -hmm. It all deals with the layers on your avatars. Basically, if the particle collides with certain layers, like the walkthrough layer, that's what makes it PvP. So what kind of... Can I only be giant spacemen? Or can I be a monster? Or a tank? Or There's something like that? a bunch of different groups that make PvP models. The 40k community have kind of just adopted it and kind of rolled with it. PvP models in several different communities. I'm pretty sure the LPD, SCP, uh, Combine, they all mm -hmm. have uh, PvP models. There's a guy who makes a lot of really in-depth tanks. A bunch mm -hmm. of other players who are just making PvP models like just like crazy. And a bunch oh, of models that a, accidentally work in PvP. It's a big society behind it. How big is your group? My group is currently sitting just over 450 members. That's um, we're a trying lot to get up members, to 500. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, group started out a while back and mm -hmm. I never expected it to get this big. I was expecting it to get to 40 people and then just die out on us. Wow. This room is the lobby where we spawned into the world, but what are all of these buttons? So all these buttons, these are basically all the uh, different game modes. So basically with this little board mm -hmm. here behind you, you can set the game mode. Either light RP, the 40k game mode, classic, mm -hmm. infection, a whole bunch of different ones. You can respawn everyone on the right there. That button kills everyone. It is a violent button to press. Got a little uh, spectator avatar down there, nice and optimized, can fly around, get nice shots of the battles. And then you got a little calendar on the bottom right there with a bunch of different events from the 40k community. So what about the, the long row of buttons back here? Long row of buttons back here, these are all the 40k uh, classes. So basically, once someone gets in the world, we basically yell at them to get in whatever class that they need for the avatar. Just so it's nice and fair and balanced, just your health, uh, walk speed, rotation, mm -hmm. drafing, and all that. Really in-depth, and then there's a little spectator uh, mode right there where you don't take damage. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, you can just look around, not that I see you have a spectator avatar here for spectators too. Yeah, we combo those two classes in the avatar and people just kind of float around looking at the violence. So now we're in the battlefield, or one of the battlefields. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. So this blue board on the flight pad, what does it do? Is it flying rolls? Basically, these are all the different rolls for different aircraft. Like over on this side, you got like fighter jets and all that. Like you got light fighter mm -hmm. for like basic flyers, heavy for like transport aircraft, medium from between. And over there, you got our little drones for basically like helicopter-like things or drones. Basically, mm -hmm. it'll stay in place if you let go and won't drop down. A little slower, different pitch and yaw on them for all our flying stuff. That is all vehicle based. I'm a bit of an idiot, so maybe I should be a drone? Uh, drones mm. are mostly for like, um, they're, they're really good for spectating too. You can just kind of hover around a little area and just kind of watch stuff go down. Kind of like the, um, spectator avatar back in spawn. A lot of mm, people pair those up too. Well, I spawned a seat. Let me take a sit on the front and then what, grab the controller. Yep. All right, time to and launch this from the is... comet. Whoa. Oh, there you go.
It doesn't matter who won, uh, because both sides are having too much fun to actually realize who was winning. That's wonderful. I won. Yeah, he won. He won. He won. He stole our toes. I stole what I your hear, you lost to more I than you. Stole your toes <laughs> to complete the chaos. Ritual. Yeah, I lost so everything, everything apparently. Like holy. Yeah. Shit. See, here's the thing. I like, won because I stole his foreskin and his tongue. Uh, oh, apparently I'm wearing uh, you made this avatar, but uh, what is it for? What are its special features? Alright, so this one, this is our basic tactical model. It's pretty much our main, well, one of our main models that we use. We give this one all at the most of our new people. It's mm -hmm. basically the background bone of the group, this one right here. Comes with a standard bolter, hard hitting, medium rate of fire. Just an all round good model for PvP. Doesn't hit too hard, doesn't shoot too slow. It's kind of a good medium for everything. Is it easy to shoot? It's a very easy one to shoot. It works with the desktop system as well, because the gun's on the right mm -hmm. arm. Good hard hitting gun, pretty dead accurate to the irons on it. So and you put it in normal. your chapter's colors? Uh, yes. Yeah, this is basically a very basic base remodel. You can swap out the materials on this thing, throw it into basically mm -hmm. whatever chapter you want. Uh, nothing mm -hmm. too ornate about them, so nothing distinguishing any different chapter. Here we're on the flight pad, and we've met this little beauty. Hello, what are you? Uh, this is our Stormhawk avatar. One of our close air support units. Uh, all the weapons mm -hmm. on it work. I got the arrows animated mm -hmm. on the weapons. Uh, missiles pods work. And mm -hmm. yeah, this thing basically just does strafing runs and takes out enemy air units. Sounds incredible. Can we see the front guns rotate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me, let me touch that. And so do the sides. Okay. We'll try and remember to gesture for them. Still hot. Oh, that's missiles. Mm, yes, I see. Wonderful, I like this machine. Is this one of your creations as well? Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I, I threw this together, base models from a guy named Joaz, same with the Space Marine assets. Uh, we mm -hmm. can basically rig them together, rig them up for VR chat, rid of PvP on them, material on them, all that fun stuff. It's quite, it's quite impressive, it's huge. It, Thank you. Yeah. Everything on it does what I it looks like it does. I keep how large these aircraft avatars are until I actually get into mm -hmm. like a confined space. I'm like, oh, I don't fit anywhere. <laughs> This avatar looks different to the tactical marine, but somewhat similar. What's your large backpack for? What does this guy do? This guy, this is our assault marine. This was one of our flying units. A big backpack, it's a big mm -hmm. jump pack. So this avatar, it's got uh, colliders in the uh, shins. Uh, we basically act as a uh, mm -hmm. like an invisible staircase that goes with your mop. Basically, when you activate the gesture, mm -hmm. that activates. You effectively walk on it, acting as uh, avatar flight. And so while your feet do the little... Oh uh, yeah. Do the little twinkle. Yeah, it, your legs kind of freak out a little bit when doing it, but normally people don't <laughs> see that because you're going so fast. Because with the flight, it it flings you forward whenever you let off the uh, flight button. Uh, we call it cancel mm -hmm. jumping. We don't know why it does it. It just does, and it is honestly one of the best things for flight because it makes you very hard to hit. Um, you can go very fast, get out of situations quickly. Uh, and just harass mm -hmm. the larger units, uh, getting them off for your mainline infantrymen. So it has a pistol. Yeah, a... Does it have any other weapon? So far, it only has the pistol. Once I get 3.0 working mm -hmm. on this, I'm probably going to put a chainsword on it as well, just for melee. Mm -hmm. And uh, What's a chainsword? Full pistol, it's, uh, it is basically a chainsaw on a stick, kind of. It, 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 is, so it a... is violent. It's a chainsaw sword? Effective... Yeah, yeah, it has a name implied to change that's sword, quite, much. That's quite a solution to quite a problem. Yes. <laughs> when in doubt, chainsaw. <laughs> but yeah, this is a bolt gun. It's similar to the uh, bolter from the last mm -hmm. model. Just shortened down, a little less accurate, slower rate of fire. Mm -hmm. Hits pretty hard, not as hard though. But mm -hmm. yeah, this is just basically to keep it balanced, just so we don't have some guy sitting a mile up with a big gun just shooting down at people. Mm-hmm. Give him a nice little bolt pistol. Keep things all nice and balanced. So, Flapjack, if you could steal one technique from another 3D modeler, or maybe learn, what what would it be? 
probably on how to do 3.0. That's something I've been trying to learn for a little while. It's been pretty difficult, mm -hmm. but I got some friends who helped me out with it. So hopefully it's nice to have that up and working. What plans do you have? Uh, is there a lot of plans to update the avatars in the community uh, to yes. 3.0 or, or to include some yeah. Udon programming and things? For mine, I'm going to plan on updating them all to 3.0. Some of my friends, they have a bunch mm -hmm. of 3.0 Space Marines. I just haven't learned it for mine yet. Uh, I plan mm -hmm. on doing that, getting the melee where it doesn't kill you when you swing a sword. Uh, a bunch of new avatars, mm -hmm. just more quality of life fixes like with the uh, gestures and all that. Just getting it all mm -hmm. on the same thing, fixing materials, optimizing, all that kind of stuff. And eventually another world for the uh, group. How does a new player join the group if somebody wants to play? Uh, well, we host all of our stuff on our Discord. Uh, there should be a link down in the description, I think. Um, either there, we do recruitments on Fridays. You, you normally see us just kind of walking around, just look for the heavily armored dudes, and we'll, we'll hook you up mm -hmm. with, uh, with PvP. Either that, or just type in PvP or Warhammer in social, and you'll find our stuff. Great. Well, thank you for all the interview. Uh, thank you for yeah, no showing us your creations. It's all very interesting. Oh, yeah, thank you. Badminton silk right, so is like, take one. Like, real fast. Okay, so it's just me doing my recruitment spiel? Yeah, let's let's hear your spiel, Badminton. What are you about? Okay. Uh, my brain went absolutely fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I can... Uh, let's try this. Cool armor, bro. How can I have one? Uh, if you want an avatar like this, you feel free to clone it off my. Sorry, it just goes off sometimes. But feel free to clone it off myself. We like to do all kinds of PvP events where anywhere between just a handful of people to as, as many as a couple dozen will be smashing at each other in various outfits like this, shooting guns like this, and having all kinds of craziness. And it's always been fun, always been ridiculous. It's kind of like just putting a bunch of cats in a sack, shaking it and tossing it and seeing what happens. But it's always been a fun time, and there's everyone who's involved is always a great person. If you have any questions, everyone's always willing to help. Cool, thank you. A no a no my normal spiel normally kicks off with like, Hey, do you like gratuitous amounts of violence? I do like violence, yes. Well, if you're interested, we're doing a PvP kind of event. It'll be a handful of people my size, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller, shooting guns like this, doing all kinds of craziness. There'll be a couple of people on jetpacks. Watch out for them. They're hard to kill. Mm -hmm. I just got real tired. Do I get to kill aliens? <laughs> yes. Do I get You'll to have kill more than play, more than a couple opportunities. Yes. There's and a couple heretics? of them creeping around right here. You'll have plenty of opportunities to kill heretics. Believe you me. Oh, wonderful. Did we cover aliens? Yes. Xenos, aliens, all kinds of creepy crawlers. Mm -hmm. Even your fellow man. Like I said, we do practice events all the time where we'll be fighting against people in green, same armor, but different kind of stylizations. Mm -hmm. People in red, watch out, they got Volkites, which are awesome, by the way. Hey, Flapjack. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just about to get tomorrow. <laughs> Oh boy, I hope I got that. As evidenced by that, as evidenced by that, we like to mess around and have fun and just laugh and have a great time. Mm -hmm. That's the gist of it all. You don't have to know a thing about 40k. All you have to do is want to have fun and just joke around, and you'll fit. No ifs, no ands, no buts. You'll fit. You just want to have fun and just meet new people. Cool. Well, thank you, Badminton. I'm going to call cut there. I feel a lot of enthusiasm for the high spirits that I see in this PvP community. Uh, when I've watched them play, they're always having a lot of fun joking around and they welcome everyone. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them update their avatars to SDK3, add some quality of life stuff to them, and maybe do some cool futuristic sci-fi UI elements. That's kind of my dream. But I hear my transport spooling up, so it's time for me to jet out of here. Ta-ta! All right, 180 right, fly ahead. Thank you for watching. See you next episode. Oh, that was the start. Ow! Ow, I'm hurt! Okay, situation. 
I'm embarrassed. I'm running away. And I'm back where I started. Yeah, full frontal attack time. That's enough of this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.